normal starting point, home tab, font group. I'm gonna make it bold as well, just so it stands out. You don't have to do that, but when I'm recording, I'm told by my editors and producers that I have to be bold, I have to be bold. So I'm being as bold as I can. So there's gonna be uh, the form, the account, and then I'm gonna say this is debit slash credit. And the credits I'm gonna say are gonna be negative. If my spelling is wrong, then I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna actually pull this down. I'm gonna say cut and paste it down here. I'm gonna scroll in a little bit. These are my headers for my journal entries. And I'm gonna make this my header label. So I'm gonna go up top and say home tab, font group, making this uh, black and white. That's what I typically do with my headers. I'm gonna center this one, home tab, alignment and center it. And so the first one we had, the forms are an estimate where there is no financial fi financial uh, transaction. So in other words, nothing's being reported to my actual financial statements for that one. And then we had a sales order where once again, let's skip a column. This is where the journal entries would go, but there is none because there was no financial transaction. And then we entered a purchase order or order. And once again, no financial transaction. Okay. Okay. On the right hand side, I'm going to make my reports where I'm going to, I'm going to put an E here. I'm gonna make my format where I'm gonna post my stuff. So I'm gonna make a skinny D and then skinny D, let's make it really skinny. And then I'm gonna copy the account, making that a little bit larger. And I'm gonna say, this is the beginning trial balance, which has nothing in it. These are gonna be my entries. And then I have an ending trial balance. Let's just call it trial balance trial bow and then I'm going to pull this down this is going to be what we'll post it to just so we can see this I'm going to go home tab font group black white center make this black white okay and I'll just add some accounts now so we can get a feel for what this is going to look like and then once we start actually posting things we'll see the debits and credits so we're going to say there's going to be a cash account there's going to be an accounts receivable that's gonna be one of the key accounts that we'll have to deal with. There's gonna be an inventory account. Uh, let's just call it inventory. And then we're gonna, there's gonna be an accounts payable account. And we'll just call it an equity account. There's gonna be an income account and there's going to be a cost of goods sold which i'm just going to say cogs cost of goods sold and then that's going to give us our total debits and credits i'm going to say the credits are going to be negative in the worksheet so i don't have to have six columns but only three columns to do this and then my net income and i'm just going to color code this thing so it looks fancy i'm going to make my assets green so i'm going to go up top and say home tab font group I'm gonna make this dark green and then white on my assets uh, and then my liabilities. I'm gonna make those uh, orange, let's make that orange and white. Equity, I'm gonna make this lighter blue and then this white and then all of my expense accounts, income uh, or uh, expenses, I'm gonna make both of them the darker blue and then this white. And then down here, I'm gonna make this kind of like my header one but now it's the footer black and white. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sum up. This is gonna start with zeros. There's nothing in the beginning balances that's different than what's in QuickBooks because we had something in the beginning balances, but I'm gonna start with zero equals the sum brackets of this. And then uh, my entries will be here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this across and then the ending balance is gonna be equal to the sum of these two because my credits will be negative. 
So this is going to be my little worksheet that we'll, we'll work on. And then I'll do some fancy formatting down here because I'll say that if this is between, if this is between negative one and one, I want to make it green because then I'm good if because it's rounding I'll give it some rounding between negative one and if it's greater than one it needs to be red and then if it's less than one less than one negative one uh, hold on a sec less than negative one it needs to be red so let's test it out if this goes to if this goes to one it's good but if it goes to two red and if it goes to negative two red okay good so that looks good and then down here the income is just going to be this minus this so i'm just going to say this equals the sum of these two i'm adding them up because the income is going to be a credit or negative and so i know i'm doing this fast but i'm going to copy this across so this is going to be my net income and i want my net income if there's income it's going to be a credit here like like a 100 and if there's an expense it's going to be a debit so i don't want now it looks like i have a loss i don't i have income so i want to make it not red and then i'd like to indicate that it's good with green even though it's a negative number so i'm going to say right click i'm going to format the cell and i'm going to remove the number currency being negative and just make it normal and then i'm going to say conditional formatting if this is less than if it's less than uh let's say zero then we want to make it green it's actually good because that means the credits are greater than the debits and uh you want a green and then if it's let's actually make it less than let's say this is going to be if it's less than negative one so that that zero will be green so i'm going to make it green I'm sorry, less than positive one, <laughs> then it's going to be green. Okay, so zero is included. And then if I say this is going to be, if it's greater than, if it's greater than, let's say zero, uh, then I want to make it red. Okay, so that means if, if, my, if my cost of goods sold was at uh, 150, this would be positive and it turns uh, this it didn't turn red k paso uh let me do that again conditional formatting if this is greater than one we want it to be red okay so this turned out to be uh 150 it turns red okay i don't know exactly what i did there but there it is let's bring this back to zeros and then I like to make my little worksheet where I'm going to be doing data input a uh, blue. I'm, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to format the cells for my data input. Or let's do it this way. I'm going to go to the home tab, font group, bucket drop down. My blue isn't there. So I go to more colors and standard colors. I like that blue right there. That's the one I've worked with for a long time. So that's the one I use. You can use something different if you want. I'm going to put borders around it. Border blue. Do the same thing here home tab font group border blue and then i'm going to put borders around this whole thing okay so there's a little worksheet i know that was kind of a long tedious worksheet but i think it's useful to to set up hopefully it'll make more sense uh it might not be what you're kind of used to because it has debits and credits on one column but uh hopefully that'll make sense and we'll play with that uh in the future